Hello, everyone. Hello. We wanted to take a moment to say hello to all of you, our our CB Music family, and formally introduce ourselves. My name is Kier. And my name is Tanya. And we are indeed proud and excited and more than a little bit overwhelmed to be the new owners of CB Music Studios. I'm sure many, if not most of you, saw the video that the previous owners, Chuck and Betty Price, sent out a little over a week ago. Yeah in which they announced that they had sold the studio, their little business, their baby that they started themselves about 14 years ago, and they sold it to us. Yes. So that's a little overwhelming. But they are moving to Oklahoma, and uh, we'll be heading out actually in just a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So before we say anything else, we first want to wish Chuck, Betty, Chloe, Kayla, and Josiah all the very best in this new chapter of their lives. We know it wasn't easy for them to do, to leave this area that, where they've created and built up this business, where they've raised and homeschooled their children, where they've developed lifelong friendships, and where they've made countless memories teaching music to hundreds of students over the past 14 years. Those of you who've known the Price family for some time know what incredibly special people they are. Indeed. Just a little story to illustrate what we mean. So Kira and I officially became owners on March 12th of this year, and exactly one week later, we got the official government directive to stay home to help stop the spread of COVID-19. So despite having already spent two months training us on all aspects of the business, in the midst of all they had to do, getting their, their house ready to be sold, which included repairing the roof, painting, pest control, et cetera, et cetera, and of course, boxing up their belongings and the thousands of other things that someone has to do when they're getting ready to move. They jumped in to help Kira and me, offering invaluable assistance and advice as we moved the lessons to online. And of course, they were still teaching lessons through all of this. Mm -hmm. So if you ever wanted to know what real life superheroes looked like, you need to look no further than Chuck and Betty. We're certain that, just as they've, as they've done here in Roseville, California, that they will enrich the lives of all those they will be living and working with in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So Chuck and Betty and kids, we love, we love you, and God bless you guys. Amen. So just a little about us, um, as the Price has mentioned in their video, I've been teaching at CB Music off and on for the past 14 years, and I've taught at other studios in Placer County as well. All in all, I have about 30 years of experience as a private music teacher. I've also directed vocal groups on the university level. And over the past 35 years or so, I'm aging myself here now, oh, yes. I've held <laughs> music director positions at various churches in Colorado, Southern California, and Northern California. Yes. And I, too, am a musician. I play French horn, trumpet, piano, and I also sing. And I'm even uh, playing French horn in a local ensemble. I'm not a teacher, however, so I will continue to be handling most of the administrative side of running CB Music. I also work full-time for the state of California as a software developer. And like most people right now, I'm working from home. So if there's any bright side to a quarantine, the fact that I'm not having to d commute uh, daily back and forth to work, I've had much more available time to put towards helping to get CB Music through all the quirks and challenges of a pandemic. Yep. So now we wanted to get to a couple of frequently asked questions that yes. have come our way since we took ownership. The first is, will, be, will we be changing the name of the studio? And the answer is no. No. CB Music has developed a, a very solid presence in the Roseville area. Mm -hmm. So to put it in marketing terms, the brand is already very strong and very well known. Mm -hmm. And we don't think it would be wise to change it. Plus, we feel like keeping the name CB Music will be a nice ongoing tribute to Chuck and Betty and what they've built here. Yes. Second question, will we be changing anything in regards to the day-to-day -day operations of the business? And again, no, we will not change any of the basic aspects of how things have been done previously. Of course, in the music world, there's always new technologies to keep up with that can help us to enhance how we teach, how students learn, or how we do concerts, etc. But with the concept of students learning one-on-one -on -one or in group lessons from qualified and passionate teachers, which we definitely have, this has been around for centuries. So nothing will change as far as that's concerned. 
And speaking of teachers, I should take a moment to give a huge shout out to yes. all of our incredible teachers. Many of them had never given a video lesson prior to the past few weeks. And each one of them has been willing to learn and adjust uh, their traditional ways of doing things so that to the best of our abilities, we can continue to do what we do. So kudos to our amazing staff. Kudos indeed. Thank you. And of course, nothing can replace the dynamic interaction of in-person music lessons. But until we're able to do that again, we're grateful for the technology that makes it possible to continue teaching and for teachers who are constantly, constantly looking for innovative ways to do their job better. And hopefully by now, you've all been told about our summer concert, Broadway and the Big Screen, mm -hmm. which is set for Saturday, July 18th. So write that in your calendars. We believe that with that as our theme, there should be plenty of music, of great music to choose from. And hopefully students have already started to think about their favorite shows and what tune they might like to learn and to perform. And of course, the next question on everybody's mind after that is, will there even be a concert? Let's put it this way. One way or another, there's going to be a performance. Indeed. If we're not allowed to gather in place for a traditional concert, we will do some sort of non-traditional virtual concert where each student can make a video of themselves and we'll have a portal of some kind where the performances can be shown. Mm -hmm. So students, keep practicing and you can be sure that you'll have your moment to shine. And just something to add to that, um, that you know, we know that sometimes during the summer there's obviously a lot of people going on vacations or they have different activities that they've started up in the summer. Now, again, hopefully, this. hopefully the summer we'll have some things going on. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if there's any conflicts, as there, as there usually is in the summertime, um, having some kind of video performance allows students to do it anytime they want to, and anytime that they have time in the summer to put together a video right. so that they can send it out for everybody to see. Also, for those that get a little bit... Um, Nervous and mm -hmm. find it very nerve wracking yeah. to perform in front of people doing a video in the comfort of your own home where you can get to do it over and over a few times till you get it just right. Uh, could be a nice alternative. We'd still prefer to have, have everyone in place because there's something very special about that. Uh, yes. Again, that dynamic interaction of face to face um, performances. But uh, yes. there's upside. There's I should say there is a good side anyway to <laughs> doing video a video concert, so to speak. Yes, so anyway, one way or another, it will one happen. Way or another, we'll do something. <laughs> Finally, we just want to give a big thank you to all of you. You guys. You, the, yeah, you out there. Indeed, we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge the most important part of what we do, and that is all of our wonderful students and families. Since the announcement was made last week that we are the new owners, we have received nothing but kind and encouraging words from so many of you. Yeah. Some of you were able to make it to the uh, parade that we had <laughs> in the parking lot around the studio early last week. And it was really heartwarming to see so many families drive by and pay tribute to the Price family. Of course. While, of course, welcoming us mm -hmm. as, while also welcoming us as new owners. So it was a great reminder for us that you are, indeed, the reason CB Music exists. And it is very much our joy to serve you by imparting to our students the important role that music plays in our everyday lives. So please know that we are always here to answer your questions as best we can, and please have patience with us, <laughs> as we will have, no doubt, a few bumps and bruises along the way as we settle into our new roles as owners. And more than anything else, we look forward to <laughs> making lots of beautiful music with all of you in the months and years to come. And of course, the most immediate uh, thing that we would love to be able to do is is looking forward to when we can have everybody back to the studio. There's nothing better than just being able to interact with fellow musicians and whether it's the students or the teachers or even the families. We're all there to learn and create music and it's just such a joy when you can see the, the chatter and the, the, the and hear the music coming from the different rooms yeah. and stuff like that. And we look forward to when that can finally happen. Of course, we don't know when it is, but when it does, we will definitely make sure that we're doing it in a safe way and, um, and let you guys all know. I did have a chance um, before we were uh, told to stay home to take a few days off from work and to work in the studio during the day. And I gotta say, it's just such a joy and to be there and to be a part of, of seeing the music being made and, and just the fun that the kids are having. And so that's something that 
I will miss not being there on a daily basis as I go back to work, but it's definitely there in the studio. So we look forward to when we can all come back together Indeed. and um, not be stuck at home and to be able to see each other's smiling faces. Yeah. But in the meantime, we thank you all and we just um, want you guys to say, stay safe, stay healthy, and um, just take care of yourself and your families. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.